All right. It's time to do a CSS battle. What's today? All right. We've got uh, an I that's been inflated, <laughs> a lowercase letter I that's been inflated, or uh, maybe it's a little character, like a, uh, what would it be? I don't know, Weebelow? Looks like three elements to me. Three elements stacked on each other, or maybe two elements, uh, one of which has uh, an interesting gradient and is margin uh, margin up a little bit. Okay, so let's uh, style. On the body, we have a background of green. And for each one of these, we have a background of that color. Uh, of course, we need to give it height. And let's do it as a bar because uh, we need a height to actually see anything. All right. So we've got two elements there. You can't really tell that we've got two elements. Oh, wait. Yes, you can. Uh, P represents the first one and both of them, and then P plus P is only going to apply to the second. So on the top one, we need a border radius, uh, probably a 50%, even though it's not a perfect circle, right? It's not a it doesn't have the same height and width. Uh, probably it's smooth enough that 50% will do it whatever those uh, height and width is. So bar of, of radius or 50%. And so on the second one, we do R of zero, and then we get two elements. Now, let's do the margins. Margins will limit the width and put these things where we want them. 40 and 110. Uh, how about 45? 45 and 20, 120, 130, 140. That seems that's that's on the close side. And in fact, uh, <laughs> that we inadvertently got the right height. So those margins are 140 on each side, so that's 280. That means it's 220 wide. So this is 220 wide. Uh, is that right? Or is it 120 wide? Can I do math? Yeah. 120 wide. Something like that. Okay. But it doesn't even matter because who cares? Uh, if we make the margin top, uh, and we don't need dashes there, minus 20, it'll move it up. Maybe it's minus 25 or 26. <laughs> and that height we can override 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110, 120. So what do we got now? So in this case, um, we're going to need it. Well, <laughs> we could do a clip path, clipping out. The little pieces. Uh, we could do a gradient. Uh, we could do a, a 90 degree left right gradient that was only repeating on the x axis and then leave that. I'm going to do a conic gradient. I know you're shocked if you've watched any of these. I love a conic gradient. And a conic gradient is again uh, around a central axis. And uh, in theory, would be something like a radial, you know, like like around a radius. Uh, 
so our background is that. So there, there you can see that's that's what a conic gradient is by default. Without numbers, it starts at yellow here at the up down axis in the center, and then comes around to transparent in this case. Now, in this case, we want 75%. And zero and by adding those numbers and that's the same as 270 degrees but really we want 75% because that's less characters for code golf uh, and then the second color is either Var DC or like that, and so in this case, C is transparent. So there we've got our background, and in this case, we can do it starts at OO, and let's say it's 80% across. 90% across and then it's at 10 pixels 100 pixels let's say uh, 91, 92, something like that ah. 93 ah. nah, we got a line there I'm submitting it but uh, we're not at 100% I think we can tell that. 99.9% .9 match. Not good enough. So I think there it was. So with a few variables, we have the same background on both, but in this case, we swap out part of the color and I believe that that gets us what we want well, I'm not gonna do two uh, ways today you could do a radial gradient here right as a as a circle and then do various different kinds of gradients you could also do orders of green and then limit 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 inside with a gradient of each kind but in this case this is pretty good take out our extraneous spaces and that's kind of fun happy little gradients we submit we're done thanks for watching